Lesson number 10. In lesson 10, we're going to cover some techniques to get back to the closed guard when we're trying lesson number 9, when our opponent opens our guard and we're extending them out into the De La Hiva guard. Now, I always want to uh, get back the closed guard sitting if possible. If you revisit lesson number 1 at this point, um, this fits into my guard philosophy of always getting the closed guard when possible. So my opponent, per lesson nine, has managed to open my guard and I bring my knee on the inside. He brings his knee up and I can't immediately get in my De La Hiva hook because he's sitting on his ankle. I work to extend him out and at this point, before he stands, on some opponents I have the chance to regain the closed guard. When I start to extend him out, the connection between his elbow and his knee is lessened. It's not as strong. So I can take advantage of this, especially if my opponent is a little bit lazy about that. So I'm going to bring my, I'm always pulling the arms forward and extending him with my legs. And notice how there's a little gap here. I'm going to axe in and take back the closed guard. This is something that kind of takes your opponent by surprise. It won't always be there, but it's a good technique nonetheless that I get a lot with when I train. The second technique is I've come to this position, I've started to extend him out and he stands all the way up. And I've got him pretty well extended from this point, so I'm not going to switch to the De La Hiva guard yet. And you'll notice that I have his arm and his knee disconnected. So I'm going to climb my guard really high and suck him in with these with uh, my grips. And I'm back in the closed guard standing, which I feel is a safer position. Now, here's a variation of that. When I'm in the De La Hiva guard, I've already switched from my double sleeve and I've started picking the ankle and I've already started working my De La Hiva attacks. Often, when you're pushing your opponent's leg as you should with the De La Hiva guard, leg or hip, he'll start to maybe even try pinning this leg and he'll step forward a little bit with this back leg. And when he does that, when he gets in a little bit uh, square with his legs, I'm gonna switch to the double sleeve and I'm gonna climb my guard just as I did before. The only reason I showed this one also is I just wanna show you how you can transition from the ankle pick back to double sleeve and a quick regard lock. Now, when you do this technique, um, the second and third one, you have the opportunity to do a quick double ankle sweep. And you'll get this a lot on guys because their mind is so far from the double ankle sweep, they're thinking about passing the guard, that when you quickly relock and you end in that uh, closed guard standing position, often their legs are in the perfect position to do a quick double ankle sweep. So as soon as you get to the closed guard standing, I want you to do a quick assessment of the situation and see if you can um, achieve the, the, uh, the double ankle sweep before your opponent has a chance to react, like so. So maybe I'm playing the De La Hiva guard standing, playing this position, I'm working my sweeps. He gets in a little bit too far and then I reclose my guard. I quickly assess and see that his legs are in the perfect position. He's not pinning any of my arms. I come here, I explode, and I do the double ankle sweep. The double ankle sweep uh, and some of the variations were covered in an earlier lesson, so revisit that lesson if you need tips on coming to the top and some of the submissions that are available to you from the double ankle sweep.